Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to get the MAME arcade emulator on your PSP. So this pretty much works on every PSP with custom firmware installed. On this PSP, I have got 6.61 Pro custom firmware. So all you guys want to do if you want to get this is just scroll over to USB connection, press X, connect your PSP to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so over on your computer, the link to main for all will be in the description of this video. It's hosted on PSX Place. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the latest version that you can get for your PSP. Uh, this one was actually made in 2016. I'm pretty sure this is maybe a modded version, but it's version 4.9 anyway, um, R2, I don't know what that means. But I couldn't find um, a version that was actually newer than this one. You can go on version history and you can look at it. Um, it was released in 2016, so not really too old considering it's for the PSP, and it's got over 8,000 downloads. So if you guys want to get this, all you want to do is just click the green download now button, and the zip file will just start downloading. So once it has finished downloading, you want to head over to your PC's downloads folder and you'll be able to find it in here. Now it does not come with any ROMs installed, so you will need to find your own. I've got some here in a ROMs folder. Um, I've just got some random ones like Space Invaders and a few others. I'm not too sure what they are, but we can check it out. So get the zip file once you've downloaded it. Right click and then select Extract here. It's just going to put it into the file folder. Now get your ROMs. Select all of them, right click and copy, go back into the downloads folder, go into the emulator, you're looking for the ROMs folder, so go into that, right click and paste your ROMs in here. So that is literally it, we can now get the whole folder, so let's just copy it, let's go onto our PSP, we need to go into PSP, game and just paste it anywhere in here. So that is literally it for the PC. We've now got the emulator copied across with some ROMs installed. So now I'll go back onto my PSP and show you guys what it's like. Okay, so back off your computer, let's go up and launch the MAME emulator. So if you scroll over, it should be on your memory stick. Um, let's just look for it, it should be somewhere on here. And um, here it is, MAME for all version 4.9 R2. So let's just press on X to load it up. So once you're on this screen, it might take a while to load. Um, don't worry, it's not frozen or anything. Uh, maybe just give it up to 30 seconds and then the emulator should start up. So once you wait, it starts up, it's going to show all of your main ROMs. So we've got Clowns, by the way, I don't know what any of these games are. Uh, we've got Clowns, Killer Comet, Robot Bolt, our oh, Space Invaders, I know what that is, Up and Down and Wanted. So let's just try Wanted. Once you select a game that you want to play, you have to just press the Start button. It's then going to give you some options you can change, so the frame rate and stuff like that. I would leave everything how it is, and um, you can change stuff if you want to. But there isn't really many settings. You can overclock it, I guess, if you want to. But um, there isn't really much point. So we are going to press um, Start again. And then it's just going to boot up the game. So here we are in Wanted. This looks like quite an old arcade game. I'm not actually sure what this is for. It looks like a kind of shooting game. So let's just try this. Let's press Select. Select again. And then Start. Okay, so now we're playing. I turn up the sound on this one. He's actually going, it's just a bit quiet, let me turn it up a bit more. There you guys should be able to hear it right now. So yeah, pretty cool, um, it runs perfectly fine. Obviously you can get better games than this, I'm pretty sure Metal Slug um, works on the main emulator, I probably should have got that, but I wasn't too sure what these games were. Now if you want to change the screen, you can press left and right at the same time. You can now change it to different screen options. Now, um, some of these do look pretty weird. Um, so this one is probably what it would be like actually on the arcade machines. Um, you can change it a bit more as well, so if we press it again, as you can see it goes in smaller and then kind of back to normal. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.